and we hope you all are doing well so basically today i am going to tell you that how you can make a python project for taking a screenshot right so i'll be telling you that what are the libraries that are needed and what are the concepts that you will be needing but before that let me quickly show you the final output of this project so here is the project written and i would just run it here for a while so basically when i just run it i am just getting option here take a screenshot okay this is one of the option that i am getting as soon as i click on this take a screenshot button so it has redirected to me some position okay let's say i want to save my image i'll be adding here let's say 4 okay let's say 4 is the name of my image and i click on save automatically that has been saved now what i'd be doing is that i'd be quickly going on to my desktop and this is the window so this is the image that i have saved and now right now you can have a look that the screenshot has been saved here of the image which i have taken right so this is the whole project that we are going to make today and i hope this must be very interesting for you so basically what i'd be doing is that i'd be coming to a new file and now i would be telling you that what are the libraries that we'll be needing and what are the things that we'll be making here fine right? so there is one library that is py auto gui okay p y a u t o g u i i would just write that thing here in a while but py auto gui is one of the libraries that is actually helping us to take this screenshot okay this is one of the libraries that we will be needing so if it is a new library right so we need to install this library into our program into our devices whatever you are using right so if you are using pycharm so what to do here is that come down side here you will get in getting an option for terminal okay click on that terminal option so a window like this will appear and basically it will be loading for me just wait a while okay so here i need to write my command for installation of uh, py auto gui so i'll be writing pip install py auto gui and now i would just run this simply so basically for me it will be showing that a requirement already satisfied okay requirement already satisfied is shown for me but for you if you haven't downloaded it so that will down download and at last it will show you that successfully installed right so this is the thing that i had you need to do here you need to install this library so after the installation i will be using to import my library right so for importing i'll be writing import and here i'll be writing py auto gui okay so this is the library that i have imported here now next thing what i will be doing is, is that i would be even needing my tkinter library okay i would even be needing my tkinter library because as i have shown you the example and the starting so there you will be you are able to see a window right a small window a small a uh, canvas and in that canvas you, there was a button to take a screenshot and as you were just pressing that button the screenshot was taken and was saved or whatever the name is wanted to give right so for that making that button i'll be needing my tkinter library right so here i am just importing my tkinter library so from tkinter import tk right so from tkinter import tk and basically uh, one of my from a tkinter libraries okay from tkinter i'll be writing here from tkinter import tkinter as tk i am just giving a short form to my tkinter library okay that is import tkinter as tk so tk is a short form after that i'll be writing here from tkinter so here i'll be writing from tkinter dot file dialog dot file dialog import asterisk this file dialog is actually one of the functions that we have in the tkinter module so i am what i'm just doing here is that at from a tkinter dot uh, dot file dialog module import asterisk import asterisk means that import everything whatever i have into this folder fine now next what i'll be doing is that i'll be making a tkinter window okay a tkinter window so for that basically i'll be using root root is my variable and here i'll be using tk dot capital t and then k a small k right so this tk is actually referring to my tkinter library that you need to make the uh, window from this help of this tkinter library okay if i simply write tk that will also be fine that will basically give me no issues right after that basically i'll be making one variable here let's say that variable is window and into this variable what i'll be doing is that i'll be giving a particular length and uh, breadth that is width and height for my tick inter window that basically what should be the width and what should be the height for my tick inter window that i would be making right so window is equal to i would use here tk that is referring to my tick inter library and i would use one function and that is canvas okay 
in the bracket i'll be mentioning root here because root is storing my tick enter window right and i'll be using my parameter that is width so what width actually i want let's say i want width that is 200 okay and what about the height so let's say height also i want 200 because i want a square to appear in that case i mentioned the width and height as 6 now here again i'm repeating that totally depends on you that whatever values you want to give you can give here right now after this what i'll be doing here is that i'll be using my path function so this means whatever the functions whatever the values i have given till now just apply all that okay and simply at last i'll be closing my main loop so root dot main loop right? and then the bracket so till now i have just made my take inter window and let me just quickly run out and show you that thing fine so you are able to see a small window here okay a very small window on the other side so that is appearing fine i would just close it here right so till now i have just made this thing now what is the thing that i'll be doing here is that i'll be making a take a screenshot button okay take a screenshot button i'll be making as you have seen that in that basically box take a, sc a screenshot button was present correct so for that i'll be making a variable that is ss underscore button simply we basically uh, for a screenshot we take uh, we say that basically take ss right that is a screenshot right so for that basically i have just taken the short form that is ss underscore button right and i have just put the equal to sign here i will be using tk dot button now i haven't used here that uh, label function because i do not want anything to appear i simply want a button to be made right so tk is referring to my tk library and this button in my function that i am having I would put the bracket and basically what text I want to be written into that uh, button which will be appearing. So I want uh, uh, there it should be written that take a screenshot. Everything should be capital. Okay. So take a screenshot. I want it to be appearing. Right. And I would put a comma and basically what command it should follow. So command that it will be following is let's say take underscore ss. Now we haven't defined this take underscore ss till now. Right. So this will be the name of my function that I would be defining above this thing. Okay, I would be making a function in which I would be telling that how to save that file. So in that case, I would be, I would be making that function of the name and that is take underscore ss. Okay, and what would, should be the font of the uh, uh, text that we have taken that is take a screenshot. So font should be is equal to 15, right? So I just mentioned font is equal to 15. Now again, you can just take that of your choice. Now here I'll be using window dot and here I'll be using create underscore window. Create underscore window. This is the function that we have here in this inter module. So window dot window is my this thing where I have just made my take inter window. Okay, window dot create underscore window. And in this basically I'll be giving 100 comma 100 and comma window okay window is equal to ss underscore button okay ss underscore button now basically here what i am giving i am giving that it at this particular position that is 100 comma 100 that is the middle of my tick inter window right because my tick inter window is of uh, width and height 200 200 so 100 comma 100 is the middle point so at this point i basically want my button to appear okay and in between that button take a screenshot should be written so this is actually what is the meaning of this whole line, this whole line number 11. Okay. Now I'm just left with one thing here. That is I need to make out my function. Now if I would be running my program here, then what it will be giving? It will be giving me error that take underscore ss is not defined. Okay. So in that case, I'm just not giving right uh, like running my program. I'm simply making my function. Okay. So my function is def take underscore ss and my function here and i will just put the colon and come to the next line so basically now here i'll be using my take into that pi auto gui library that is used for taking the screenshots okay so here i'll be defining one variable that is okay let's say that is a screen underscore shot okay screenshot i'll be putting one equal to sign here and here i'll be using my pi auto gui library dot is screenshot a screenshot is the function that we have in the spy auto gui library and that is used for taking the screenshot of your window right now basically what i'll be doing here is that i'll be taking one more variable let's say that is save underscore save path now what it will actually do 
it will actually save my file name okay now i do not want a particular name to appear that whenever my screenshot is being saved so it should be saved, saved from that particular name okay i do not want that thing so in that basically here i will be using one function and that is ask save as file name this function actually what it will do it will ask you that from what name you want your file to be saved as in the starting when i showed you the program the output of this program you were able to see that a window appeared and in that window basically i need to put some number or i need to put some name then only my file was being saved right so that thing is actually done with the help of this ask save as file name function okay now again i would take that function that is uh, screen underscore shot my function screenshot and here i'll be using dot save okay now from which what should the extension of this to save so in that case it would be save underscore path first is save underscore path that means whatever the name i would be giving first that name should be present after that there should be a extension of underscore is uh, scr screen short dot png so this was this should be the final extension of the uh, file which i am making okay, which i would be saving it should be the extension that is whatever name i would be giving let's say here i just gave a so that would be a underscore screenshot dot png so my files would be saved in dot png format right as i mentioned this thing here so here i have completed my here i've just completed my whole project and now i would just run it here for a while run so basically it, this is my window that is appearing here and in this window basically let me quickly open that again okay here it is so now in this window i'm just getting an option a button to take a screenshot okay i just click on this take a screenshot so now a screenshot has been taken and now it is asking me to save the file let's say i just wanted to save into desktop only okay i want to save it from a okay i would simply write a and here i would click on save now i would go to my desktop so this is my desktop and this is my a underscore screenshot i would just double click and want to check out that what is actually coming here so yes here i have my whole screenshot of the window that was appearing right so this was the screenshot correct so now i hope you have got the idea that how you can make a program for taking the screenshot using the python programming language now if you just want to remove this uh, take inter thing so you can just simply remove that and simply you can just use this pi auto gui dot screenshot that will also work okay so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care